Hi guys. We're uh, mirrored because I'm using my phone. I forgot to put memory card in the camera. <laughs> Never mind. Um, we have thought very long and hard about this. Um, we've had one or two arguments over it. And we've actually nearly got divorced over it. <laughs> but um, yeah, what to do in the COVID situation? We've heard today uh, what's today's date, Kirsty? Today is the 18th, Wednesday the 18th of March. Right, so we've heard today that by the end of the week, it's more than likely that the schools are going to be shut down. Um, I have always been of the opinion that if it comes to schools shutting down, we need to get out into the sticks. So we are currently leaving Lincolnshire. Yeah, we don't don't want to be locked down stuck in our vans somewhere to be honest we I know we are sociable people but we do prefer to be away from people i.e. crowds of people um, and especially with everything that's going on right now um, it's it's been really really hard actually there's so much so I, I personally, I got sucked into the media, which I know, I know a lot of it is um, hyped up and BS to be honest. But I got sucked in, and I felt really crap the last couple of days. I've taken it out on him. He's taken it all out on me. We've been horrible to live with. <laughs> we've, we've even said, right, that's it. We're getting separate vans and everything, but. Um, after a good a chat with a, a friend this morning, and well, a few friends this morning actually. Yeah, um, you guys know who you are, we're and, not going to mention any names. Yeah, and also uh, having to, well, waking up to a flat tyre again, um, and having to sort that out, it kind of put, made us calm down, get our thoughts together, and we've decided to head for the hills, uh, where we think be able to as a family unit fend for ourselves and just get away from this until yeah. it's all we settled down a little bit we figure we need to be as far away from people as possible um, we're, <laughs> we're kind of self-isolating although there's nothing wrong with any of us however we we are going to call in and see the boys Somebody's tired. Um, yeah, that was another hard decision we had to make as well. We both left Lincolnshire in tears, thinking we were just going to drive straight past North Yorkshire to keep them safe and ourselves safe. But come on. <laughs> what, when we what? get up there, we'll give them the choice. If they want to come and see us, then that's going to be awesome. I, I know that my boys want to see me. And I, I, I actually did think that we were just going to drive past them and wait for this to blow over. We don't want to be putting people at risk, but... Right. When it's your kids, man. Oh, so, yeah. little monkey's just doing that to wind everybody up. She's, she's doing it because she's tired. Oh, look at that face! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rosy cheek. She's tired. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, we'll keep you posted. We'll keep you posted. Well guys, 7.30 a.m. Believe it or not, we're all up and mobile. Um, last night... Yeah, thanks guys, whoever it was that dropped that off. I can't remember your names, but that's really awesome. We've got some noise in the front of the van now. <laughs> anyway. At half seven in the frigging morning! Right, anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're on the road. Um, we got up to Osmotherly last night, pulled up here, and uh, we had the news that 20,000 troops have been rallied and put out on the street. I believe they're heading to London to lock London down. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Which means that the rest of the country is going to be on standby for lockdown. We were going to head up for Scotland. 
However, I would have liked more time up there before everywhere was on lockdown. I would have liked to have found somewhere, established a little bit of a base and been able to operate freely from it out of the way of everybody else. I don't think we're going to have enough time available to get up to Scotland today and schools are on lockdown tomorrow, uh, which is Friday. <laughs> I think by the end of the weekend, possibly Monday, we could be on like a proper lockdown, which isn't going to give us enough room, en what? enough time. That was a salt pot falling over. Yeah. It's not going to give us enough time to get up to Scotland establish somewhere to stop and um, stay in one place self-isolate so we're gonna have to resort to plan B I don't know how my parents are going to take that news my reason we both woke up this morning and thought you know what I don't think we should go to Scotland it didn't it just didn't feel right and my reason being it's very cold up there isn't it we're like it's you know we're starting to get a bit warmer down here whereas up there it's still bloody winter and there's no way our kerosene would have lasted that long even if we got fully stocked up on it so you know there's one thing putting ourselves at risk like that but Kaylin nah um, so yeah we're gonna go and um, try a local farm like farm market is that what you call them yeah, farm, uh, farm food. one of them yeah one of them farm market farm places with um with all the fresh stuff and the dried stuff and the meat and that so hopefully they've got plenty of stuff in because after looking at my facebook this morning and seeing all the pictures from people in my hometown going to all the different shops and the queues i, I think we'd be lucky so yeah we've got to see what supplies we can get and then um told the kids that we won't be coming round because obviously we're, if we're going to go and see his parents we don't want to be putting them at risk but obviously we'll have no contacts and we'll keep in the van we won't be uh, being outdoors at the same time as them kind of thing so what a carry on this of lamb chops running about up here <laughs> there's a lot of pheasants as well there's tons of pheasants there is but it's a very well keeper estate my brother-in-law works on this estate up here um, he would probably have me shot if he saw me up here, especially with two lurchers. Well guys, we're safe, we're sound, we're sorted. We've got somewhere to be. Um, <laughs> just down the road there's a motorhome storage space and he's going out. The rumours that we've heard coming from Spain uh, people on lockdown over there and yeah um, van lifers are getting fined for just being in the vans and not in a house everybody's getting sent home from Spain uh, back to the home country uh, yeah it's uh, it's not good the shit is about to hit the fan and um, we've had a word with my parents we're self-isolating here. We've been out this morning. We've got a good shopping. Uh, yeah, we're stocked, aren't we? We've got a freezer, use of a freezer at my mum and dad's. Bread and milk, maybe pop down for every now and again. But we're going to try and sit it out because if we if we stay in the vat, if we stay only with each other for is it seven or fourteen days? That'll kill you. I ain't stopping with you that long. <laughs> it's been too long already. I'm glad. No, to if we keep away from people, though, then yeah. we're not really at risk to anyone, then, are we? Exactly. Um, what then I... again, we don't want people at risk to us, but we're not at risk to them. What you know I've, ju I've just given those other wet wipes to me dad. But can you can you pass me? Just get me half a dozen wet wipes Kelly, and nappy bag, please, and, and pass the dattle. Can you? Oh. Right, guys. I know that there's problems with hand sanitizer, but the shops I've been in, there is dental on the shelves. So what I've been doing is nappy bag, half a dozen wet wipes in, cap full of dental, 
that might be a useful little tip for anybody that's you know struggling to get hand sanitizer. Struggling to get hand sanitizer. Oh, I need to chuck this out. Nearly threw that in my face. Oh, boiling water is going to boiling it up. Yeah. So basically, yeah. If if I if I've touched a shopping trolley handle, if I've been into a shop and opened a fridge door, any surfaces that I've been in contact with as soon as I've been and touched anything my hand goes straight back into my pocket it's quite discreet as well well I say it's discreet it's not not discreet at the moment but yeah there you go hand in pocket swish them about in the dental my hands are sterile so anything that I've touched yeah you know what the score is anyway like I say we're safe and the benefit of my mum and dad living here is as you can see for miles around we've got no people the only people that we will sort of be in semi-contact with is passing food over the gate to me mum and dad um, I'm gonna take over the the shopping I'll get to go for a spin in my dad's car because after today he's going down to go and pick up my mum's prescription but after today, he doesn't realise it yet, but he's going to get grounded. <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> All them times I got grounded. So, yeah. I'll be driving that little sporty number about. Hello, Poppet. Hi. Hi. Might even get you a bath, mightn't we? Yeah. Because we're going to have plenty of water. We'll boil some up on the stove and shove you in a drink. You don't like that? No. Oh. But we will have to use the so yeah, if lockdown occurs, we're safe and sound. Um, I really feel for everybody else that's out there at the moment that doesn't have the facilities that we've got. Um, it must be bloody awful guys we were like i said going to go up to scotland but given the temperatures up there we had to take kaylin into account me and kirsty could probably survive it but if we had to bug out and bug out rough and i mean like into the woods hiding then uh, we'd have been screwed so for the next couple of weeks we're going to be locked down here isolated another advantage was being out here is there is game about over there there's a pond with wild fowl in there there's one or two rabbits and a couple of pheasants so yeah we've got resources there's a river over there and uh, there's one or two trout in it and with growing up round here i know where every rabbit set is every rabbit run every pheasant roost My dad's got an air rifle, so if the shit does really hit the fan, and we are on lockdown, I'll still be able to uh, wander about quite freely. Because they ain't gonna shove no army barracks, or they ain't gonna shove no army trucks down the bottom of this lane and just monitor each and every one of these farms individually. So yeah, we're safe. But yeah, good luck guys, God bless you all. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away, to a place where we don't know.